Hey everyone, it's Rich from Billet Spin. Welcome to our next video. This video is going to be about uh, what makes tops spin a long time. I get a common question um, from people. They always want to know uh, which material combinations are the heaviest because they think that the heaviest materials are going to spin the longest. And I'm here today to tell you that that is not true all the time. Sometimes it is. But I want to tell you why. I just want to explain uh, what I've learned about this. I've done a lot of different testing on this and, and uh, what I found out might surprise some of you. So here's the deal. If, if the heaviest tops spun the longest, uh, why wouldn't I just make every top five pounds? Five pound top, that baby should spin a long time, right? In reality, yeah, you get a five pound top spinning, it's gonna spin a long time. I made a top uh, last year called the Mega Top. It was actually over three pounds. It was huge. It was like four inch in diameter. The thing was gigantic. And uh, the problem with that top was that it was extremely hard to get rotating, as you can imagine, because there's so much mass there. It was very hard to get that top rotating. If you could get it rotating, yeah, it would spin a long time. So that's really what the key is, is, you know, how do you get that mass rotating? I'm going to give you an analogy that I think will make it really, really simple. Let's say that you have on the ground in front of you, you have a ping pong ball, you have a tennis ball, you have a hard ball, uh, like for baseball, and, uh, and you have a shot put okay now you go to throw those right the ping pong ball is the lightest then the tennis ball then the hard ball and then the shot put you know which one of those are you going to be able to throw the farthest well the the hard ball the baseball and why is that it's because uh, a little bit of aerodynamics but mainly because the weight of that ball matches the acceleration that you can put into your arm. Uh, a shot put, you just can't accelerate your arm fast enough to throw it very far. And a ping pong ball is so light that yeah, your arm movement is extremely fast, but there's so much air resistance in relationship to uh, you know the weight of the ping pong ball that it's just not gonna go very far. So it's very similar to that with spinning tops. Uh, you have to match the weight of the top with the diameter of the grip. So if I made the grip diameter really, really small, what would happen? I want you to picture this. I'll show you with two hands, okay? I want you to picture like you're starting a fire, okay? How you move your hands like this. That's basically what your fingers are doing. Same exact motion, right? Okay, let's talk a little math because I'm a huge math fan. Let's say that you can move your hands or your fingers like this at say 200 inches per minute, okay? So you'd say, okay, if you can move this 200, your fingers 200 inches per minute, you can translate that into RPM based off of the stem diameter. So 200 inches a minute, your stem diameter times pi will give you the circumference and 200 inches divided by that number will tell you how many RPMs this thing will be moving. This, this will be spinning, okay? So the key is to get it up to that RPM. But if the top is too heavy, then you cannot accelerate and you can't get your fingers to the 200 inches a minute, okay? Does that make sense? Um, so if the top is too heavy, it'll be too hard to accelerate. If the top is too light, you can accelerate and get the RPMs, but because it's not heavy enough, the air resistance, there's a lot of air resistance, um, and that will kill your spin time. So the key is to match it. You wanna get as much RPM as possible, and so you have to, you know, the bigger, if the, if the top weighs more, you have to make the grip diameter bigger. It's like, it's like uh, gears in a manual transmission on a car where, you know, first gear has all this power, but it has no RPM. So the bigger the, the stem diameter, the easier it is to spin a heavier top, but because it's a bigger diameter, the circumference is bigger, and at 200 inches a minute with your finger travel, you're not going to get the RPMs generated, but 
So it, it, instead of spinning, say, 1,500 RPM, it might only spin 1,000 RPM, but because it's heavier, it's, the air resistance doesn't affect it as much, and it will spin longer. So there's a balance there that you have to find with pretty much every top. And you can get some parameters like I have. I know, you know, everything is by grams. You know, uh, the rotor top here is upper 40s for grams. And so, uh, you know, I know exactly what stem diameter is going to give me the best spin times. Now, here's one thing that will absolutely blow your mind. And I actually did this with the rotor just to test it. The rotor that I first made, um, I had guessed on the, well, I wouldn't say guessed, I had uh, deducted the, the spin or the stem diameter to get me the longest spin time just from previous, uh, you know, experience. And, uh, and I made that, I made it that diameter, okay? And I spun it, and my first spin was 10 minutes. And that's what I shoot for. I'm always happy with, 10, with a 10-minute 10 spin. It's, you know, wanted to get it somewhere along the lines of the navigator. So I thought, okay, why don't I just try it? I'll make the stem 10 thousandths smaller in diameter. So that's what I did. That's 5 thousandths on a side, which is basically the same thickness of a human hair. On each side of the stem, I changed it by that much. Visually, you couldn't even tell the difference. And I did that and I spun it, and I had a hard time breaking eight minutes. So I, my spin time changed two minutes based on 10 thousandths of diameter on that stem. Um, so it's a real touchy thing. So what I'm trying to tell you is that if you think that the heavier top is always going to spin longer, well, <laughs> you're, you're right in the instance that I, I make it that way on purpose. You have a certain range with the spin or with the stem diameter to the weight of the top and I know that the materials vary in that range so I make I pick the stem diameter based on what's going to work good for all the different materials okay but I could easily make a top purposely where the heaviest top spins the shortest because of the stem diameter you wouldn't be able to get enough rpms to make it spin as long as one that's made out you know like a copper an outer top, uh, outer copper compared to an outer stainless steel there's going to be a couple gram weight difference there and the stainless steel would outperform the copper every time so um so i just want you to know that that's that's kind of the physics that go into it there's a, there's more to it than that um one of the other things and i'll just share this last one with you before we go is the the actual grip itself how much grip um, can you put on there because you know I've made the mistake in the past of going with uh, let me get this to focus here of going with just insane grips where you just get crazy amount of grip but it's really hard on the fingers that's another balance that you got to find is you don't want to tear people's fingers up uh, but you want to give them a nice grip and something that looks you know really well done that goes with the flow of the top and and I you know I, I really think that does that here with the rotor but the amount of grip that you have will impact the amount of RPM that you can impart on the top with your fingers so um, anyway I hope I hope that that makes sense uh, communication is not my strong suit and uh, I understand all this in my head but imparting that to you is very difficult for me so I, I just hope that that makes sense if you have questions post them in the comments and uh, I'll try to help you out there. Uh, I'll keep an eye on those. But uh, I just it was just one thing that I, I see so often is people always asking for the heaviest combinations. And it uh, you know hopefully that video this video helps you understand why that's just not always the case. Sometimes the lighter version will actually spin longer. So anyway, that's all I got for you today. Have a great day, and we'll catch you next time.